One thing at a time. This card flipped over. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So, Leo, this could be a couple of things, okay? You could literally have you and or your person could have a sick family member right now. And this is taking its toll on the relationship too. Just we're working, we're trying, we're going at it. But it also does talk about, right, inner child healing, healing the family trauma, healing from like your narcissistic parent and them just like messing you the frick up so that you couldn't love properly, okay? But this looks like there is a passed on loved one that is here. They're here, they're with you, they're guiding you, they're giving you signs. I'm seeing 222, 555, 888, and 333, specifically 104. We're on the money. You're right where you need to be. So even if the healing feels hard right now, you are right where you need to be, okay? And we have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So Leo, if you were thinking about reaching out to somebody, uh, talking to somebody, telling them how you feel, this is telling you like, you should definitely tell this person how you feel. You guys need to slow down. You need to stop what you're doing. If you haven't talked to this person in a while, hit this person up. If this is a situation where like, uh, I don't know, they've got you blocked or something, uh, We'll have to pull a clarifier on that because if somebody's got you blocked, then they probably don't want you to hit them up, right? But they want you to express your love in any way you can. This could even be like visualizing, right, Leo? Visualizing. If this is a blocked situation, you're like, I would express my love if they would let me. You might want to visualize like, oh my God, they texted me. Oh my God, they unblocked me and they texted me. Like, holy shit. I feel like that will really change uh, change the energy between you if that's your specific situation. We also have passion here. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Leo rules the heart chakra, okay? This is, you gotta connect into your heart. I feel like, I'm seeing like romantic movie scenes and stuff. This feels like you and somebody, there's that two, 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 or like, we both know that we're destined to be together, but there's some, there's some BS going on here. There's some trauma, there's some unresolved trauma here. And it's not that you guys aren't working on it, it's not that you're not doing your best, but there's some unresolved trauma here that definitely needs uh, to be worked through. We have engagement, Psh, okay, we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level commitment. So congratulations, because that, like, that feels like that's what you want here. But we have to clear out, we have to clear out some negative thoughts. There's some sort of mental conflict and a conflict in communicating. Whether, no, it's not a love language thing I just heard, but it is a communication thing. The way you guys express yourselves to each other, there's, give me more on this miscommunication. What is the communication error that's happening between Leo and their person? And how can we get through this? I mean, you guys, are, you're definitely good at the bedroom stuff. You're good at the playful stuff, the fun stuff. But it seems like there's some sort of issue here that gets triggered, a button that gets pushed. And you guys are like, both our, our inner child wounds are triggered. And so we act act that way. Seven of Wands in reverse. So this is like somebody who, when we get to the space of fighting, they're just like, you know what? I give up, I'm not gonna fight. This is somebody who doesn't put in enough fight, right? They have this, this, this limiting belief that they're like, well, I'm just gonna give up. I don't wanna, but it's a fear of rejection really. With somebody in this connection who's not trying hard enough, but the reason they're not trying hard enough is because they're afraid of the failure. I'm like, why well, don't if I try my hardest and I still fail, that means what? I'm not worthy. That means we're not soulmates. That means I suck. Four, five, six. That means you know that could potentially mean in your head, right? It's all in your head. Uh, the devil, the devil talking BS to you. The devil is talking BS, right? This could be you or your person or really both of you guys that gets them devilish thoughts. Hanged man in reverse. See, somebody's stalling here. Pisces energy. Somebody's stalling but getting restless at the same time. It's like, this silence is about to end, 444. Somebody's experiencing a silence, uh, feeling left out in the cold energy. They feel like a neutral. So it's like, if if you look up uh, the emotional scale, you'll see a scale, you know, like this, and it'll rate the emotions. Somebody was first depressed and sad and feeling hopeless about this. They moved up to anger and rage and resentment. They're like, you know what? I don't even sad about you anymore. You know, like, F you. You go do whatever, whatever. But then above 
the rage and the anger is neutral. It's apathy. And apathy is like, you know what? I don't care anymore. And it's not a bad thing to not care anymore. Or it's not a bad thing if they don't care anymore. That when you're neutral about it, now you can go up about it. And, you know, you can go back down if you want. But... Like I talked about the visualization. This is an energetic thing for you, Leo. Okay, this is 100% an energetic thing. And if you are still here, comment your Leo emoji down below. The zodiac signs with the most interactions get their readings first. Okay, so this reading is definitely for you if you're still here. But this is an energetic thing and you can fix this. 555, five, five. you can change this energetic thing and get your passion level back up to 10, 10, 10 with this person, okay? We don't want to be mad anymore. See, we got a fear of change. We need to be working on, I'm, I'm hearing like, this, it, this feels like something that's being rekindled, that's being worked on, or that will be being rekindled and worked on in the near future. But there's this fear of change. And this fear of change can be worked through together if we work on building a friendship first. And I'm not saying like, hey, let's pretend to be friends and like, sure, we'll just go date other people and whatever. I'm not saying get yourself into a fucking shady situation, okay? Don't do, don't, don't do that. What I'm saying is like, say you guys, you did come back together and you were like, okay, well, what's a compromise? How can we compromise on this? How can we work together so that we can understand each other? Instead of focusing on each other as like, well, we've only known each other this long and we're lovers. You focus on the friendship first because there's this different level of respect. Like, we kind of treat our friends differently there's just a whole different vibe a whole different vibe and the expectations are different and i'm not saying it somebody's going to be acting in a different way but it feels like it will alleviate the energetic pressure like say like we're gonna we're gonna go out to dinner no no strings attached not meaning like we're gonna met somebody might have a fear of like being played but it's not like that this feels like you and this person love each other but you're wounded and it doesn't seem like there's other people involved. It doesn't seem like the person you're dealing with is like mess messing around with other people. So, but building that friendship will be a really solid uh, foundation for you guys to move forward on. 1111. What's the energy coming in for you guys? Like, okay. See, we got, if it's too much, it's overwhelming. King of Cups in reverse, Page of Cups. If it's too much, it's overwhelming. Somebody's feeling anxious, a little bit sensitive. But this, we gotta get back to basics. Maybe you guys need, instead of talking about getting back together and getting married, why don't you talk about going to the fair? Going to the park? Going to uh, some more fun? It seems like we have to, this card says inner child on it. We have to heal this inner child before we take on more responsibilities of moving in together, of getting back together, of taking on each other's baggage, okay? Yeah, if this was a question of should we move back in together? No, we're not ready for this. This relationship is not ready for this. We have to heal this inner child and we can do it together. You can do it together, Justice, Libra energy. You can do it together. Tell me why this King of Cups is in reverse, please. Why is the King of Cups in reverse? Well, somebody's inner child is, is pouty and they feel stubborn. So they subconsciously, like kind of on accident, manipulate the situation. Like, God, I thought you loved me. So why did you do that? Or uh, some weird manipulation tactics. The moon card, see, we got fears. That's why. Fears of going too fast. So somebody in this connection, it's like we want to be together, but we can't be going too fast. We can't be like, okay, now we're together every day. Now we're talking all day, all day. It's There's a level of codependency here. It's like we're in an all or nothing energy. If we're together, we're together and we're talking every single day, all day long. And I'm not saying that's bad and that's wrong, but it seems like at least from where this specific connection is, we need to work back up to that. We got to re- 1001 get to know each other we have to we're not starting from scratch but if we're wanting to move forward on this we got to get to know each other we got to slow down this energy here definitely wants to slow down 
Don't force me to talk about stuff that I'm not ready for. Now, if you're in a situation where the person every single time you try and talk about something, they're like, no, 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 I'm not ready. And it's been months or years, that's different. This seems like people that are either you right now are slowly coming back together or in the near future. We're like slowly starting to come back together. And instead of talking like, say, say you and them talked today. Say you guys broke no contact today. You don't need to tomorrow. Okay, great. Now there's a good morning text every day. Now there's a dinner together every night. Now we spend the night every night. That's what's going to get you guys back into the same position that you were in. And it's like maybe you're addicted to each other a little bit. It's okay. You can work through it, but you got to work through it. The only way to work through it is to work through it. You can't be doing the same thing that you were doing and expect it to be different. 11-11, it can be different, but we got to stop resisting the change. And the change may be, right? Well, I have to set boundaries on myself and not call you every morning or not want to spend the night at your house every day. Or, you know, it's... I'll start working on my stuff. Maybe we're going to hire some sort of counselor. Maybe we're going to get some sort of help and support. Okay? I'm seeing with the fool in reverse, don't be impulsive. Don't be impulsive. The Knight of Pentacles is being methodical, efficient, productive, taking his time. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius. Make sure you go get your Zodiac sign merchandise down below. Like this video if you have not done so yet. I also just posted a brand new... Uh, ebook bundle. There's a six week journal in it with like a 50 page ebook. There's a couple bundles in my Etsy store. Definitely go check that out, okay? But slow and steady wins the race here, okay? This Queen of Wands, she's looking pretty sexy and like ready to go, but don't just be, don't be diving in the first day that you guys get back together, okay? That'll be a warning for you. See ya.